Hello, today we're going to show you how to quickly set up your RF205X evaluation kit. So, we'll go ahead and open up our kit. Inside the kit, you'll find complete documentation explaining how to set up and use the evaluation kit, power cables for hooking up your evaluation board to a DC power supply, a package of five extra RF205X chips, a USB cable for connecting the evaluation board to your computer via USB, the evaluation board, and the software installation CD. We'll begin by installing the RF205X software. Simply insert the CD into your disk drive and the software will automatically begin installing. The first thing you see is the welcome screen. Simply click next on this screen. The next screen is the end user license agreement. Be sure to read through this screen carefully. After you have read the license agreement and selected I agree, click the next button. The next screen is customer information. Simply fill out your name and organization and click next. I'll just leave mine as it is for now. Next you'll want to choose a destination for the software to install. You also have the option to choose whether the installation is just for you or for everyone who uses the computer. After selecting your installation folder, click Next. This screen simply confirms your installation. Click Next. The installation begins and takes only a few moments. Once the installation is complete, you'll get this screen. Click OK. Finally, click Close and the installation is done. You'll notice the software has automatically added an icon to your desktop to execute the software. Now that we have the software set up, we can begin assembling the kit. Unwrap the evaluation board from the anti-static packaging. If you look at your evaluation board, you'll notice the serial pins on the left side, path 1 input and output on the bottom right side, path 2 input and output in the top right, and external reference clock input on the bottom left. On the back of the board is the FTDI Bitbanger USB interface. Next, take the DC power cable and connect it to the serial pins with the small number 1 at the top of the board. Insert the blue connector into the red connector and plug into your DC power source. Then take your USB cable and plug it into the USB bitbanger and then into an available USB port on your computer. Next, connect an RF cable from the PATH2 input on the board to a signal generator. Then, connect another RF cable from the PATH2 output to a spectrum analyzer. Turn on your DC power supply and set it to 3 volts. Now that we have the board wired up, we can open up the software by double clicking the icon. If your board is attached correctly, you'll notice a green dot indicating the connection is working. Now, click on Mixer 2 to enable it and the value is already set to 915 MHz. Here, on the Spectrum Analyzer, you can see the 915 MHz as well as the products above and below. So even before attempting to program the chip, 
you can immediately see that your board is working and can easily return to a fully operational state. Now your RF205X is quickly set up and ready to go right out of the box. Thanks for watching.